Hello, fellow refugees. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about transitioning away from Facebook. Uh, Facebook has done us a big favor. So one of the things when you're over on uh, MeWe uh, is that you're, of course, going to be uh, have a lot of your content that you've been building up on Facebook over the last few years is no longer going to be available. Uh, or it's going to be available on Facebook, but it's not going to be on MeWe. Specifically things like pictures, commentary, uh, the cool stuff you've done in groups. That stuff's just not there yet, so you'd have to rebuild it. And that's years in the making, unless you use a feature that Facebook gave us uh, to help us migrate away from that total totalitarian platform. So what you would actually do to get all of your content that you have on Facebook that you want to retain or then migrate over to MeWe is you go into your uh, profile, go into your settings, and then your Facebook information, third one down, go ahead and click on that. You'll have to do this from a desktop too, I believe. I don't know if it works that well in the app, but I think no, it does on the desktop. And then you go down over to, it says download your information. You would click that. And then there's things that you can choose from. Posts, photos and videos, of course I did those two. Comments I did. Likes and reactions, I really didn't care about. Uh, the friends list I downloaded. Uh, stories, I don't do stories, so I would have unchecked that one. Uh, following and followers, kind of took that one out, didn't give a crap about messaging. So anyways, you can go through here and pick the things that are important to you. Things you want to see again. I didn't care about marketplace. I didn't care about the payment history. And once you do all of that, you would go ahead and hit create file. Now the other thing you can do meet as a media quality, you can put that in high so you can actually get the high resolution pictures that you uploaded. It's not that important to you to use medium because it'll make a smaller file. When I created my file, the last time I did this literally two days ago, uh, was 797 megabytes of information. So it's kind of cool. It downloads it to uh, a zip file and then you can unzip the file into your Facebook files. And what's kind of neat about that is it's done by the, the organization or the, or the same things you listed uh, that you wanted to see. So uh, if you wanted to do photos and videos, it actually saves it under the album styles and off of your feed if you wanted to look at it that way, your posts. So these are all the videos. So if we go to like mine that says, uh, I think I got one in here for dogs, right? Our dogs, there it is. So there's all the pictures that was in the dog's photo album up on Facebook. Now I can actually highlight these and move them into MeWe because MeWe allows me to uh, upload my uh, photo album. If I go to my profile, I can go to photos and, and videos, uh, album, and I can actually create an album and then upload it. There is some space limitations. I think it's uh, five gigabytes or 10 gigabytes. I don't know. But anyways, you can get more if you want to. Again, MeWe isn't monetized, so there is some fee-based stuff you have to do. It's not except super expensive. It's typically a, a one-time fee. Uh, so you can blow things out. But anyway, so once you've decided on uh, what you're going to upload, you can upload it. Uh, this is the comments. So when Facebook moved the or, or archived the comments, if I go to my comments, it saves it as an HTML file. So you can open it in your browser. Now the cool part is if you open it in your browser, now you can use a search mechanism and search through all your comments uh, and find specific words just like you would on Facebook. And you can actually copy then your comments over or especially stuff where you've done some research and had some links to some sites. You have that now available to you. Uh, ooh, that's a very cool motorcycle, isn't it? Uh, so anyways, that's all available to you now. And you can actually take that information and migrate that over to MeWe too. So again, it's comment at a time or as information that you want to copy over. So you don't have to keep going into Facebook. Facebook's making it really convenient for those of us that want to get out from under their thumb to do so. And you do that using this download feature. Uh, a couple other things I noticed about MeWe is, uh, which I hadn't noticed for, is if you're on the home page, cool new posts show the groups, and your photo show stream shows the new photos that are popping up. So if you want to see, I, I typically run in groups. I'm not a big chat guy yet. So if you wanted to see, I got one in Sarah's, I got two in this one, I got four in Monster Hunter. I click in Monster Hunter, and it will show you the four most recent posts without you having to necessarily go to that group. But if you want to go to the group, then you click Go to Group. So just a couple more features. It's, it's like I said, it's a little different than Facebook. I'm getting more used to it uh, as the population over here starts increasing with those uh, running from the oppressive uh, regime, uh, hopping the wall and, and playing a, a here in, in freedom land, uh, it'll go up. The uh, other thing, guys, I know some people are griping about they, they don't know who to contact or how to get rid of the hold of their old contacts unless they have a phone number. 
Uh, you can actually take your contact list from Facebook and just start typing them in. People will move over slowly. The other thing I suggest is you take your personal link, which is you go to your profile and down at the bottom here, share your link on Facebook and Twitter. Start sharing that with your friends and they can hook up with you pretty darn quick. All right, that's my latest and greatest video. Later, kids.